Season two is <laughs> season one on steroids. Musically, across the board, I wanted to kind of bring in this other world. Labs finding new sounds to complement every emotion that we go through in the show. We're getting to inspire each other to make something like fresh. Lab was working on the lot where we were shooting, so I'd go over there and I'd, I'd sit with him for a bit. Working with Sam is very um, spontaneous. He just plays me songs. He would just play me like, um, he played me the Brothers Johnson at one point. Then he was playing me Bob Dylan. Then he was playing me um, Blondie. And so after speaking to him, I make a scrapbook out of the sounds he plays me. I call it a mind vomit, <laughs> which is just like all of these crazy ideas that are going in my head. And I just kind of put them onto my workstation. It's hard to actually explain his process, but it's remarkable. He's like a savant, I had no idea. Half the time he's just speaking like gibberish. And he'll literally be sitting in the room and talking to you, and while he's talking he'll be like da 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 and he has a piano around him and he has to touch the piano and get this out of his head. It's almost like he's communicating with a totally different universe. My style with a lot of the score is that I have to go into myself and get these soundscapes that I'm inspired by and then me and Sam listen and, and we start to see what sounds fit with each character. So we're kind of doing that right now where we're, we're seeing what tones or what energies fit with certain characters. The difference between season one and of course season two is that I'm here, which is amazing and, and it's much more uh, collaborative. I'll shoot some stuff and then when I have a break, I'll go over and hang out with Lab because he has a studio now on the lot. Me and Zendaya have already recorded a song, which is pretty special. Like, it's been nice to be in the room. Of course, on, on the first season, we recorded All For Us, and that was recorded remotely. But now we're actually sitting in each other's spiritual energy and space. He's brilliant, and I'm learning from him, watching him be a genius. I really enjoy collaborative music, so some of the cast have actually come into my studio. Of course, Dominic came in and jumped in and played some guitar because he's a really uh, uh, um, great guitarist. I forgot the first fucking words, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I've got no place building you a rocket up to outer space. I watch you fade. Sam just came up to me and was like, yo, I was thinking like you play the guitar in this and like you sing a song. I think that's what me and Labyrinth and Z are gonna like go in on today. Some distance when you're older. You know, knowing how gifted Dom was, I just figured, well, let me just put him in a room with Lab and, and see what happens. And why don't I send these lyrics over to Z and see what her notes are? And then she's in there, you know, working on, on some of the lyrics and various things. So it became kind of a group family collaboration. Mm -hmm. I hope it was worth it in the end. I'm still working on it. Hey, Lord. You know I'm tired. Hey Lord, you know I'm tired. I, I find myself missing a little bit of religion's influence on culture just because there's an inherent abstraction to the ideas. I know the first season had a spiritual energy to it, but it feels like it's becoming direct in terms of that spiritual, religious feeling. And I think that Lab's voice serves as kind of the, the religious world throughout season one and two. And so I thought, well, why don't I just let him sing? 
And I just had this image that came to me of her getting high in her bedroom and, and hearing this music and kind of turning and looking and just seeing that her bedroom door is this hallway into this church service. Lab, Z and I got together and worked on this. As soon as I, I started to hear what Lab was doing, I realized that the possibilities for this sort of sequence could be really deeply emotional. Lord, you know I'm tired. Hey, Lord, you know I'm tired. A lot of using the choir, the church choir, a lot more, which is kind of just me layering my vocals as many times and, and basically sounding like a choir. I kind of just wanted to explore like the church organ. I really enjoy it. It kind of instantly creates this like air and like atmosphere around some of the scenes. Overall, I think Lab performed for like seven straight hours. Some people in the in the church are just crying. I had said early on to Lab that I wanted season two's score to feel like the light inside of Rue that can't get out or that is struggling to get out. And so when we shot that, the whole narrative of the season kind of clicked. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. We can't end this season without hope. Her life is valuable and she is deserving of love and she is deserving of beautiful things. And we end it on this beautiful moment. Hey Lord, you know I'm fighting. Hey Lord, you know I'll find it. I don't.